Hi, this is Ashley at Portland Wellness Care, and today we're just going to go over a few options for plank variations for building some core support and structure. So, uh, the most common version that's practiced in the gym is typically a high plank, which means on the hands. So, we set that up with wrists right under the shoulders, fingers spread out nice and wide like you're palming a basketball, legs nice and straight. So, the plank should look like pushing it around the weight, broadening the upper back, drawing the belly in, scooping the tailbone down and squeezing the glutes and the legs and the abs. And you can hold here for as long as you need. Common mistakes we often see with this pose include a little bit too much sagging in the hips, which leads to a little compression in the low back, not enough engagement through the shoulders, shoulders towards the ears. So in general, you wanna make sure you're pushing the ground away nice and strong, feeling your shoulder blades spreading apart on your back and squeezing your armpits down. Then you wanna feel like your belly's pulling in and again, you wanna kinda of tuck your tail through so you're engaging your abs and your glute muscles, squeezing the thighs so the knees are straight as well. Another option for this, especially if you have wrist issues, is to perform it on your elbows instead. So you can have palms on the ground with elbows shoulder distance apart, or you can interlace the fingers, tucking that lower pinky in so it's not getting squished, and use this pose to protect your wrists while you're still building your shoulder core and gluteal engagement and strength. So shoulders under the wrists. You can set this up from the ground if you like to. Bringing the toes together, squeezing the thighs, squeezing the abs in. And again, making sure that you're not piking your hips up or letting your hips drop down too low, but just maintaining engagement through the abs and scooping the tail through, squeezing the legs and squeezing the armpits like you're dragging your elbows towards your toes. And you can just hold here statically, trying to build your endurance so you can hold for about a minute. Those are two options for plant pose to develop core strength. I hope they help out.